Hello everybody, welcome back to Tin Man Collections and today I pulled out my canvas to do a art project for you guys and I already went ahead and sketched out what I wanted to do. This is going to be a Santa Claus and he's smoking a pipe. Okay, so now my interpretation is going to be a lot different than anybody that wants to try to do this, but make it your own. All right, mine's going to be wearing a green hat and uh, got one of those... Uh, point set of holly berries on his hat and I was thinking about going with a candy cane striped shirt so what again whatever you want to do it's totally fine with me but anyway I'm not going to be painting with traditional paints I'll be using um, these alcohol colored markers right here you can pick these up over at Hobby Lobby but anyway I'm going to get started on the green one first and I'm using a uh, emerald green color so let's get to it shall we I'm going to start off with the hat. Now you want to make sure you get every corner and every crease. Like in other words, don't have no white spot showing. Mm -hmm. I'm just doing this as long as I go. If I wanted to change something, I might. And you don't want to hit the area where the fur is at. Now for the uh, holly berry on his hat, I'm going to use a different shade of green. I'm not going to use the same one. But I'm painting his vest. This same green as the hat. Like... That's the thing about Santa, you can imagine what he wears when he's not wearing his red suit. What is he doing, like, you know, vacation or something? And if you don't want to keep going with the pen brush, you can use the chisel. Oh yeah, that goes a lot quicker. And also take your time too, you don't want to rush right into it, but anyway. Now the collar around his vest, I'm going to go with the same color, but then again, it might blend in too good with the green, so you might have to pick a different color to make it look like the collar of a shirt maybe. So I might go with either a red or just leave it white for like a shirt. Oh yeah, for the pipe. I already went ahead and draw some smoke with pencil, but I'm going to go back in with like a silver or something and make it pop like smoke. That charred gray looking smoke and then also the color of the pipe where it's smoking out of with a reddish orange color to make it look like it's still hot. Alrighty. Now. I think I'm going to go ahead and work on his face so you can see that better. So, again, this is a pastel peach color. I use it on some of my other stuff and it kind of looks like flesh or skin tone. But I'm going to do the nose first so I won't mess that up right there. Gives it like a warm complexion. Make sure when you get around the eyes, don't like, you know, go too fast because then you might get into the eye socket. And then you're going to have to explain why your Santa has a flesh tone colored eye. I'm going to have to pick it up just to hold it for a second longer. Now I'm thinking I might leave the beard part and the hair the snow white color but I might go in with a little silver just an accent and a little bit make it look like a silver white color again you can do whatever you want with yours alright and I'm gonna also make the mouth the same color 
All right. That's what it's starting to look like now. Anyway, the eyes. I'm going to be using a um, cobalt blue. But some people like to use a lighter blue, so I'm just going to go with this one. Go around the eyes right here. I might paint the or color in the pupils black. I'm going to leave a little white just to make it look like a little sparkle in his eyes. That looks terrifying, but I'm just. <laughs> uh, all right. Now the shirt. Shirt I'm going to be using. We're going to make it look like a candy cane color. So I'm using this deep red color. Let's see what that does. And I'm going on the stripe I already made on the shirt. And I might go with the collar red as well. But uh, <laughs> kind of looks like um, like a puffy medieval shirt or something. But anyway, I might go with a different shade of red on the, where the buttons and the collar. I might use a different shade of red. I'm not sure. We'll see. And then the fur, I might go with a grayish fur. Go with a brown fur. I'm not sure yet. Whatever looks good in my taste. All right, right where the buttons are at. I think I'm going to use uh, a different shade of red. I might use this other red, and then the buttons are going to be gold. So I'll be using old red on this one. Oh yeah, it comes out a different shade. It looks more of a reddish orange, but it don't matter. It's kind of like a blood red-ish. Kind of blends in a little bit with the other one. <laughs> I get around his beard. Yeah, I think the beard and hair might be a little bit too white. I might have to go with a silver hair look. Well, this is not the only one I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing another one in another video soon. All right. There's that. Now, the buttons. I'm going to be using a gold I was going to go with the design with the uh, the lacing type shirts that you see in some artists rendition of uh, Santa but I decided to go with buttons it makes it a lot easier to draw like that all right now I'm going to pick some more colors and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Now I'm going to paint his pipe. So I'm going to use a chestnut brown color. So here we go. Right there. Alright. Now smoke and the hair and we're using the silver kind of like that now I'm just going crazy on here to just give it some Like it's supposed to be white hair, but it's got some silver showing right here. I'm not going too crazy on that. And then 
I think I'm going to go with brown fur on here, on his hat and coat or vest, whatever he's got on here. All right, I think I'm going to call it completed. So, there you go. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.